Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com here with a very special Lightroom tutorial to demonstrate my advanced editing Lightroom training series that is now available. Um, you can stay tuned at the end of this demonstration to learn more. But I am going to be showing you um, some creative editing techniques to edit photos that don't always work well with presets. So if you know anything about me and tubeblooms.com, um, I use a lot of presets for my editing to save time, to create a consistent style, and to really improve my workflow. But there are some times that using presets just doesn't cut it with certain photos. So I'm gonna be demonstrating using this photo today this was taken on a very cloudy, overcast uh, evening. So you'll get the environmental aspect and you'll also get the portrait aspect. So that's why I picked this photo. So let's get started. I always start in the basic panel just for small little tweaks and then um, I will work through all the panels and finish up with some other uh, tools up here. So my exposure looks really good. I like to expose more on the darker side, so this looks perfect right off the bat for me. I am going to bring up my white balance just a little bit just to warm him up. I might come back and change that at the end. Just depends on how my edit looks at the end. So exposure's good. Contrast will be good for now. Um, I'm just going to bump up my shadows a little bit, maybe add some whites. I really like a lot of color, so adding whites to my photo always helps um, make the colors pop. I'm going to leave blacks alone for now, and I'm just going to add a little bit of clarity because I know I'll need it. Um, I always sharpen my photos during import, so it's already been sharpened, but I do like to add a little bit of clarity uh, just to help bring out more details in the photo. And with vibrance, I'm going to add a little bit of vibrance. This basically adds color to the midtones. There's a lot of midtones in this photo, so um, I might come back to adjust this at the end as well. So this is a good starting point for now. Um, you can see how it just subtly changed that. Whoops. Okay. Now the fun part begins, the tone curve. So I'm going to create three points on my tone curve. And I want to bring up the highlights. I want to bring up the midtones a little bit. And this is just kind of an art of itself. And basically, you can create any kind of style that you want. Um, I do want to add some blacks in. If you like a more matte effect, you can bring the matte or the, the blacks up here and it just kind of levels out those blacks. I'm going to keep them down because I like contrast. Um, so this is looking okay. The greens are looking kind of funky, but we will change that. I don't, whoops, I created another point. So I'm just going to hover over that point and right click delete. All right, so I really love the contrast. Not crazy about this color here, but we can change that. Um, the sky kind of gotten a little bit blue out since we up, up the highlights a bit, but I'm gonna show you how to counteract that as well. But I really love um, the contrast and the colors um, are starting to take on a new shape. So what I'm gonna do now is come down onto my HSL panel and I'm going to tweak these greens because I do not like this green. It's hideous. It looks like pea soup or something. I don't know. Is that even a thing? <laughs> or is that only in the movies? I don't know. So I'm just going to uh, move this slider, the green slider, over this way. And yeah, my greens are starting to look like slime now, but... We're going to tone that down over here on the saturation. I like the color of these greens, but I don't like how saturated they are. So I'm just going to 
tone them down and that's pretty good there we go luminance basically adds light to the color that you want so I could add some more light to my greens that just kind of makes it just adds a little bit more light to the image overall so I'm gonna do that maybe add a little bit of light to my yellows because there's some yellows in the sidewalk here that'll just add more brightness contrast whatnot okay so I'm really liking um, how this image is looking but there are still a few things I want to fix so I'm going to come up here to my brush tool and um, under the effect I'm going to come over here and just choose my dodge brush this is the brush that comes in uh, Lightroom by itself so you should have this one so I'm just going to click on it and it um, it's going to go right over his face just to brighten him up a little bit and I want it a little bit brighter so I'm going to move the slider over just a little bit that looks great now his face is nice and bright without having to change the entire exposure of the whole image so that works for me and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the sky so I've got to make sure that you hit new so you're not adjusting this brush point so now we're going to create a new brush stroke on the sky and I'm going to choose my burn brush this time this is a Lightroom included brush so you should have this one too and I'm just going to go over the sky just to darken it back up again now I don't want now there's some vignetting with this lens I used a 35 millimeter lens so you can see the vignetting on the side so I like the way that the sides of the image are looking right now but I want the middle of this sky to look a little darker so I'm going to click new again and I'm just going to go over the mid part of the sky again and maybe again well let's try this first um, that looks pretty good I'm gonna click new so I'm just gonna go over this part again there we go all right so what I could do next is I'm going to add a little bit more blue color to the sky so I'm gonna click new again because I want to add a different brush stroke and I'm gonna just zero this out so I double clicked on that um, exposure slider and I'm gonna come down here and click on a blue color just something light and we can always change it if it doesn't look good so after I've chosen my color I'm just gonna go over the sky oh, that is a pretty intense blue so we are going to tone it down a little bit and I'm just kinda of quickly going over that um, so let's click on the color again and you can see you just move it around and it kind of just takes on whatever color you have highlighted so I want something a little bit more natural so I think that looks pretty good it's dark enough but it's not too unnatural okay so that looks great there we go so I'm gonna click done actually before I do that I will show you I did get a little bit on the trees there and that kind of bugs me so I'm going to come down here to the erase brush and this will erase the brush stroke that I have selected so this is the one that I used last which was the br the blue brush so I'm just going to go over that tree and it's very subtle but you can see how the edging of that tree isn't blue anymore and I can um, make this brush bigger or smaller um, I'll just go over this whole tree line so you can see and I'm just adjusting the brush with the scroller on my mouse there we go okay so I am done with my brushes so I'm gonna click done and that is it my friends um, I could come over here and kind of adjust this the way that I like maybe add in more whites um, maybe even add more blacks or bring those blacks up it really just depends on your editing style and what you want to achieve 
So I really hope that you found this very helpful. Um, like I said before, it is a part of a creative Lightroom training se series that I have on my website. I will leave all the details below, so make sure you go check that out. If you're wanting to learn more advanced editing techniques in Lightroom, I really wanted to create this series just to help create more beautiful photos in less time in Lightroom. If you don't want to use presets or if you don't know how to make your presets always work for you. So this entire editing series will be will be focused, whoops, will be entirely focused on hand edits, no presets whatsoever. So you know and you can learn the ins and outs of all of these really cool tools that you can use in Lightroom. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure you check out the link below and um, leave me some love. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.